Well, all this week we are celebrating our colleague and good friend Ken Bastido with a tribute to all that he's done here at KPI. Or, or as I call it, looking back at Ken with hair and a mustache. <laughs> seeing the, the different versions of the mustache. All right, well, thanks to technology, Ken often took our viewers to locations to catch a glimpse of the wild, including a spectacular live shot on top of one of the most famous summits in the world. Hmm. Well, take a look. Take a look for yourself and everybody else in the Bay Area. Uh, hey, I'm if you've never been up at the top of Half Dome, this is it. It's what you might call the uh, end of the road right here. What I'm sitting on right now is the visor. We're sitting about, uh, well, not quite 9,000 feet above sea level, uh, almost uh, a mile up from the valley floor. Now, getting to the edge, getting to the very top of Half Dome uh, is a lot of fun, but getting up here is a lot easier said than done. The runoff is so high here in Yosemite Valley right now that rain Rangers have closed the Merced River to all swimming and all boating. That includes rafting. Give you some idea how violent it is out there. We're going to take our underwater camera and give you a ride. The hydraulics that are involved in the river, uh, you can end up drowning from that real easy. Our trip will take two days. Plenty of time to soak in the beautiful surroundings. Or engage in a friendly water fight or maybe try your hand at shooting the rapids, jumping out of the safety of your raft and swimming through the boiling water feet first. All right, the last clip, clip was a trip along the Clavy River, one of the last few undammed rivers on the western slope of the Sierra. Now, this is in the Stanislaus National Forest in Tuolumne County. So how do you do a live shot from Half Dome? Well, you have a lot of good friends. That, that's sort of the theme this week is you don't yeah. do this alone. Yes. So we had people like Rod McAluloy and Les Keeney and the great Bob Horn and buddies like Ken Yeager, my climbing friends from Yosemite. We hauled up a couple hundred pounds of gear, a microwave portable, mm -hmm. and a nine-volt battery, and we hit Mount Diablo with that shot. So, a little fuzzy, but we made it. When you're sitting on top of those rocks, though, what is that like? Do you just not look down? I was looking at my nose because I was scared to death. Oh. Yeah, and, uh, I've been up there, you know, people say, why don't you climb Half Dome with me? I, well, I climbed it four times in one week. Yeah, um, you've that's done That's enough, it. done that, been to the top. <laughs> So how, how, how narrow is it up there when you were sitting on that boulder? Well, it juts out a little, a few more feet. I wasn't going all the yeah, way. Yeah, just hanging down, my legs though. off. But yeah, it, it actually cuts back and then, mm. yeah, that's the Merced River way down below. Incredible. People have been up there. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, amazing. It was a good time, though. Those, well, those are great trips. Well, had a great time. Amazing memories. Well, we want to hear from you. If you have any well wishes for Ken, just post them to social media using the hashtag KPIX.